What is up, my friends? My name is Equithrumi, and today I'm here with another episode of Clash Royale 101, where I teach you how to use every card in the game, both offensively and defensively. And today, guys, we are taking a look at the Goblin Barrel. Before I get into it, I want to take a second and say thank you for coming down to the channel. I appreciate it, and I appreciate you. Guys, if you're enjoying this 101 series, please hit that thumbs up button and let me know in the comments below. I want to see if this is helping you guys out, if you're enjoying it. Or not. If you're not enjoying it, say that you're not enjoying it in the comments. If you are, hit the thumbs up and let me know in the comments as well. So guys, the Goblin Barrel. It's more, much more of an offensive card than a defensive card, although it can be used defensively in desperation. Um, but the Goblin Barrel is a three elixir card. It spawns three gobl goblins that get basically tossed across the map to any point that you want, usually on a tower. Um, the radius is 1.5. At a level 4 Goblin Barrel, you get level 9 goblins which deal that much damage which is quite a bit every stab a goblin does is going to do 106 damage so if you're on a tower that's 300 plus damage every strike they're very fast and like I said there are three goblins in the barrel now guys goblin barrels are they do crazy damage but they are easily combated with a log arrows a zap spell even so if if they're your only bait for zap spells in your deck then uh, they're they're really not that effective maybe at lower levels if you're in a low arena and you're really starting out and people don't really understand the game so well maybe they don't carry the zap spell with them you can get away with a goblin barrel hitting a tower and uh, really doing some serious damage but once you get higher in arenas and at a, a higher skill level everyone's ready for those types of things with the log or the zap primarily so um, you need to have other cards in your deck that'll be used as zap bait and a good deck that we're gonna look at right now is this deck by Jacob 5 and I just did a highlight on this deck um, actually today it came out but um, as you can see there's three different cards in his deck that are zap bait you have the goblin barrel the skeleton army and the minion horde so using that zap spell when an opponent uses their zap spell you have to kind of keep track of their cards figure out when they've wasted the zap and when and what you're trying to get to the tower if you're trying like for example if Jacob is trying to get his skeletons to the tower he's gonna try and have the opponent waste their their zap on the goblin barrel so the skeletons can then get to the bar to the tower so let's get into this replay see how it's done Jacob 5 has mastered this deck uh, it's a level 10 versus a level 10. He's on the bottom working his way up. And let's see how he uses this Goblin Barrel. Like I said, guys, um, Goblin Barrels only can be used on defense and desperation mode because you'll be spending three elixir just for some goblins to land and uh, play some D. So you really don't want to have to do that. If you're using your Goblin Barrel on defense, you're probably in poor, you know, poor shape. So he uses his Goblin Barrel right there to work on that Goblin Hut, which is a nice use of that elixir right there. Beats up on that hut quite a bit. And then he's going to send his miner in to do a little work on that princess so that she doesn't do too much damage. And um, and here we go. His elixir is full. He, he logs down a few of those spawning goblins. And his opponent here is playing a bit of a spawner, um, a spawner deck, which could be frustrating to deal with. Inferno Tower dropped right here. Princess dropped in as some defense as well. And he uses his skeleton army right there to take out the... Hog and the incoming Barbarians. Princess is primarily being used for defense, which is a great use of her. And she's going to be logged down right there. Level 11 Barbarians, high level Barbarians coming out of that hut right there. That's a level 9 Barbarian hut, uh, which could do quite a bit of damage as you see this Barbarian does in that tower. And soon we're going to see the Goblin, there we go, the Goblin Barrel going in with the Miner. So the tower is targeting the Miner and the Goblins are then poking at the tower. So you want to, if using this deck, you want to get your Miner in there first. So the tower targets the Miner, which has much more hit points, instead of targeting the Goblins. And also the Goblins do a lot more damage. So, uh, so wise use there. You could also do the same thing with a hog. Roll, uh, run a hog up into the tower and then send the goblin barrel because the tower will be targeting the higher hit point hog and the goblin barrel can then do some crazy work on defense. Here we go. Skeletons thrown on top of that hog right there. And the log is going to come in and get rid of those. But the princess survives and she's going to keep taking care of those spawning goblins. And uh, the goblin barrel, guys, is pretty simple. You basically just point where you want them to go in the... Uh, 
in the map and then you just let it go and like right here the miners being targeted the goblins are doing the stabbing right there and the opponent I don't think the opponent has a zap in his deck so he's gonna have a difficult time dealing with this deck that Jacob has because there's three cards that are zap bait in it he does have the log though which could log down those um goblin barrel troops pretty easily and quickly here we go again another miner in and then the goblins are going to go in as well as the miners being targeted but the opponent throws the minion horde on top which takes care of that very quickly as well princess in zap and this hog rider should be inferno there he is yes exactly well done and it looks as if the uh, skeleton army is played in there as defense as well with 11 seconds left and a thousand hit points at his tower it's pretty clear that Jacob 5 is gonna be bringing home the victory on here unless if these uh, minion horde gets there but with the zap it doesn't happen and that's the win for Jacob 5 really good looking deck there you know if you guys are into these zap bait kind of decks this is a good one right here to try out and uh, like I said we've highlighted it before so go back a few days and you'll see this highlight on my feed but um we're gonna go find this again right here and we're gonna just take a look at this goblin barrel and uh and that's it guys it's it's not too in-depth there's not too much of a science to using the goblin barrel basically on offense you want the tower that you're attacking to be targeting something different so you don't want to send the goblin barrel alone unless if you're just trying to get that zap baited out to then send maybe the minion horde behind a, a tank or something like that but you know send in your giant when the giant starts getting targeted by the tower send your goblin barrel in and it's going to do some crazy damage as long as that zap isn't there and uh if they do zap your goblins then you could send the minions in behind your giant or behind your hog and um there won't be anything any spells most likely for the uh opponent to deal with those minions or those other zappable troops because they wasted the zap on the goblin barrel or vice versa send in the skeleton army if they use their zap then send in your goblin barrel behind a tank and it'll really do some crazy damage in the tower so that's been it guys i really hope that this episode helps you out i hope that the series as as a whole helps you out if you enjoyed this and if you if you learned something today hit that subscribe button i really would appreciate it and i come out with these 101 episodes at least once a week going into and taking a look at all the different troops in the game we are building a nice collection of 101 episodes here on the channel and if you're already subscribed guys hit that like button because i really do appreciate that as well and it helps me out quite a bit so for those of you that don't know, I come out with content every single day, both Clash of Clans and Clash Royale. I really hope that you leave a comment below letting me know what you think or just saying hello. I would appreciate it, guys. I'll respond back. And until tomorrow, guys, I'll see you there and be good.